All right, all right, all right. I know I only make these kind of videos like once in every like few months or whatever, but we have a new one, nevertheless. And this time around, it is the Essex Monster Arts Godzilla 1991, and um, it's actually um, a specific type. Um, it's even though it, this is the only 1991 Godzilla release. That Age of Arts has done so far, but it is uh, the Shinjuku Decisive Battle version. So apparently, this is the type. This is the version of the 1991 Godzilla suit that um, is used when in the final battle against Mecha King Ghidorah. So this is pretty cool. But it is a 1991 suit, so regardless. So let's just go right in, crack it open. And bam, just like that, out of the box. And I must say, like, very, very first impressions, like, first, second impressions, I gotta say, this is already looking really nice. Obviously, the 1991 suit for Godzilla is pretty iconic. Um, one of the more uh, iconic and maybe even better Heisei movies, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. And I gotta say, this is interpreted very, very well. But obviously, this angle right here can't really do justice right now, so we are going to switch. And obviously, right out of the gate here, we got a very nice look at the face of 1991 Goji Suit. And I gotta say, they really nailed it, the look here. One thing I really liked about the, um, you would focus. Please, this is like the hardest part of any of these kinds of videos. It's just, yeah, I can't give you a lot of the details, and the lighting sucks, but what can I do? There we go. You can kind of get a good idea. Oh my god. <laughs> this is super botched, I know, but like, I mean, it's been a few, it's been a really long while since I've done it. I think it's been a year since my last review video, but uh, you can get a good idea of. I mean, the camera is not doing this justice at all. It is. It's looking. This looks really, really nice. I think the suit is interpreted very, very well with this figure. And I mean, obviously, it, it's it's got your go-to um, Heisei aspects. I mean, bulky and everything. What's not to like? I do really actually like this design a lot. I think this is. Very, very well done. There we go. You can kind of see. Um, in a bit, I will actually do a comparison between this and the 1989. Because there's a few similarities between those two. But at the same time, lots of differences, which we'll get to later. And, yeah. Overall, I really like the look of this. There's all the spines down. Probably German, if you don't know the general, like, kind of design of a Heisei Godzilla, then, you know, this is kind of one of those, I mean, I just really like the look of his design, this, like, this scowl, on, yeah, the scowl on his face, on this particular suit, is, like, one of my favorites, it's, it's, it's kind of main, one of the main reasons why I like this, um, Heisei suit a lot, it's one of my favorite Heisei suits. And, um, I think we gotta get to the articulation. And it's time for a classic one hand. So, um, I mean, this is just right out of the box. I think it's going to be a little bit difficult, but I mean, it's got solid head movement on the, and on the neck as well. It's got a very, very bulky neck. It's like, it's a very bulky neck. It's... It makes it a bit more difficult to move, but I think, obviously, with any um, figure, at least my personal experience, the more it kind of gets used, the more it gets settled, um, it, it'll become a bit more uh, looser and stuff. It'll uh, be easier to move. Obviously, the mouth as well. The arm actually is really nice rotation here. You can do a full 360, I think. I don't know. It's really difficult to do this with one hand, so, I mean, but, yeah, it, you can make it move up a little bit. Pretty well, decent bend in the elbow, I think, the hands on a ball joint. Super solid there. Uh, the waist, 
this one's really stiff on mine, unless I can't get a good hold because of one hand, but I mean, yeah, not a lot of movement. I can't really, I don't know, maybe that just has to be worked into. I mean, that's a really tight waist movement. That's kind of odd. Um, the leg, eh, a little bit. Oh, again. Here, I'm going to I'm going to see what it's like off camera so I can actually use. So let's see. Yeah, it's it's a bit stiff. Let me, let me try the waist real quick. Yeah, the, the joints are really stiff on this right now. I don't know if that's just my own personal figure. I don't know if that's happening with other figures. But like I said earlier, I think just the more I move it, I think it'll get used. And I'll actually start moving a bit more in the tail. Really nicely done here. Actually very movable. I actually like this a lot. And hopefully... Yeah. I mean, what's there not to like about that? Great solid rotation. Um, great solid movement and articulation. So, I mean, the articulation is honestly a little bit iffy. It's a bit loose, but I mean, there, there's obviously some things that are very tight, like the uh, waist is, like, it's, it's solid, for, it's like frozen solid for mine, but who knows, maybe that'll be, uh, I don't know, but once again, I think I'm really appreciating this figure more for the sculpting design itself, like, a very nice looking, um, Oh, that's not gonna be good. I mean, that could be a cool picture, I guess. That could be good. Cool. And this image could go pretty hard. What do you think? What am I doing? <laughs> Thumbnail moment. Yeah. But yeah. Overall, I really like this a lot. I think it's gonna be another one of those um, favorites of mine in the collection, but we are going to get Mr. 1989. So, honestly, one of the major things I'm noticing here between the two, obviously the camera didn't do justice. Um, obviously the face, the face is significantly different. The eyes on uh, 89 are a bit more like kind of a more glossy orange, kind of almost an amber color. I really hate how this cannot focus for like anything. It sucks. Why now? It's this is yeah, this does not want to focus. But the eyes, the eyes are um on 1991. They're a bit more yellowish, I want to say, and the scowl is a bit more meaner looking on this one. The other than that, they do have a lot of similarities. I think the chest on 1989 is a bit more creased in, and it's not as creased in on 91, so that's another difference. 89 is honestly a bit more slimmer, but barely. Like, this is 89, 91. 89 is a bit more slimmer from what I'm seeing here. Um, and other than that, not that much difference, but they are not entirely alike. So, yeah, I would say that if you're thinking that this is just another copy of the 1989, it is not. So, um, my opinion might change over time with this, but overall, I am... I enjoy this one. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I don't know what to do for an outro here. Just, uh, yeah.